Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Grace and peace be unto you. Welcome to Noonday Prayer and Word. Happy Wednesday, you guys. Hope all is well with everyone. This is the day that God has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in this day. It's good to know my sisters and brothers are out there in the Lord. Every day with God is a blessing. Every day with Him is a seeking Him. And we are learning in Mount Zion. I just want to say grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to give honor to God who is ahead of my life. I want to give honor to my father and my mother in the gospel, my pastor, my prophet Emmanuel Rene, and assistant pastor LaShawn and Rene, and all the members and all the ministers. I love you guys, my family in Christ, who God has blessed me with. I am grateful. We've been learning about in zion about building about nehemiah and how nehemiah did the work of god because he had god heart to do the work he had god heart to build and we've been learning about we are not of this world but we are the world of the world of the kingdom of heaven and this system belongs to the enemy and this system don't belong to god we be belong to the kingdom system and i just want to talk to you a little bit about what we've been learning about and what God been telling the prophet to do, what God been um, guiding the prophet through the Holy Spirit, what to build, how to build, how to have the heart, how to have the desire and the will to build. And we've been learning that all of us is builders, but doing a different work. Just like it has the head, the neck, and the body, everything works together. And I'm loving this because God is teaching us who we are, where are we from, and his rules and regulation of this life, how to live his life and his way. I'm going to go right now to Galatians 2.20. I'm not going to be long. I'll be in and out your way. We've been learning about, as I was saying, Nehemiah. God set times and purpose is now. We have to build God's way and how God wants us to build and how he wants us to go. And without in billing, we have to seek God. We got to seek him in prayer. We have to seek him in supplication. And we have to seek him and ask God for his discernment and how to go. He gave us a set man of the house to tell us what to do and how to do it. And then God, in you seeking God, God is going to give you instructions to be obedient in what God tells you to do. So that's one thing we are learning about. And we are not of this world we are from the kingdom of God and the kids from the kingdom of God, the people from the kingdom of God, we live different than the system of this world and the kids of this world. We know that Satan runs this system and we know we have to pray because without prayer, we can't have nothing being done. The spirit of, you know, the spirit of trying to get us to be distracted will always come. Distraction will always come. Things will come in our life to stop us from doing the will and the purpose of God. But we have to see God in prayer. We have to seek him like never before. We have to seek God now, prayer now, supplication now. We have to be more in tune with God. The spirit of distraction is very, you know, is coming with his work, which is the enemy, to stop us from building, stop us it, do, it wants to take us off the realignment of God from seeking him. It wants to take us off from what we got to do for God in seeking him. Okay, so we have to read Galatians 2.20. Let me go there first. And it says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live yet not I, but Christ lives in me. So we belong to God. And if we belong to God, we got to seek God in prayer. We got to seek him in supplication like never before. That ABC prayer will not do in this season. We got to really seek God for God to give us direction and purpose. And if he's going to give us direction through the, the set man of the house, we have to be obedient in the directions. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the fate of the son of God. So we are living by fate. And we got God that lives in the inside. We have the Holy Spirit, who, the Son of God, who loved me 
and give his life for me. So we see our life don't belong to ourselves. What we do don't belong to us. Our life belongs to God. We have to operate by the kingdom of God. We must pray and seek him like never before. Are you submitted to the Lordship of God? Because if you are submitted to the Lordship of God, the Lordship of God, when you submit to the Lordship of God, he will give you direction. Prayer brings you in connection with God. Supplication brings you in connection with God. Reading the word of God brings you in connection with God. So God will never keep you looking around like you don't know what's going on. That's why you have to ask God for the spirit of discernment and ask God, Lord, I want to know more. God, I need to have this communication with you so God could guide you to the right path. Prayer is our exchange of communication with God. So when you talk to God and you pray from your, pray from your heart for real and tell God, God, I need you to guide me. I need you to survive like never before. God is going to start a connection of communication with him. In this world system, the enemy always wants to make you ineffective and anything that's ineffective is no good anything that's not working is no good and that's the enemy's assignment to make you ineffective from the kingdom of god so god from you building in this season from you seeking him in this season for him directing you in this season the enemy wants to make you ineffective for god he wants he wants us not to be able to work for god to perform for God, for his assignments. He wants to throw us off the path of what God put us on the path. To seek him like never before. And you have to pray. You have to be in supplication. You have to read your word. Because the word of God is true and is sharper than any two-headed sword. Piercing down asunder. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the living God will lift up a standard. God wants you to have a true intimacy relationship with him so he can guide you so he can tell you what to do and if you feel like either you not hearing from god you're hearing from god you hear from god every sunday when the prophet speaks to you all you gotta do is follow instructions and direction and god will always always guide you through true worship true communication and true supplication with him god will use the people of this world as an assignment to bless you in favor when you are obedient to God. He will use them. You know what I mean? Um, Pastor was teaching Sunday, love not the world. Because the world is the devil's system. The system, in, in this world, the system is the devil's, Satan's system. Our system is a kingdom system. God needs strong leaders who is not going to compromise the word of God. The system of God and the belief of God. So you have to see God. You have to stay in prayer. And popcorn prayer wouldn't do. The same prayer you had last year wouldn't do. You have to, you have to really desire to see God. Really have that burning sensation. God, light me up for you. You got to seek God. And long as you start seeking God and start to pray more and start to read his word more, he's going to have you burn up in him. He's going to speak to you. It will be a connection. You have to give God individually your intimacy. You have to have an invoke, invoke, ask God to come. Like you gave him an invite. Just like when you give somebody an invite to your wedding and invite to your baby shower. You got to give God an invite. Let him come in. Let him come in and have communication with you. So you have to pray. You have to seek him. You have to have supplication with him. And you have to seek him every day. Every day you get up, say, God, I choose today to serve you. God, I choose today to be in your kingdom. God, I choose today because I know I can't do it without you. I know I can't breathe without you. I know I can't communicate without you. I've given you an invitation to come within me. And God is going to take some stuff out and put some stuff in and the communication will flow and God will make you know what to do, what not to do, how to do it. And even when you feel lost, like you're not hearing from God, you are always hearing from God. That's a trick from the enemy to try to stop your destiny and purpose of seeking him and building his kingdom. You always have to see God. Let's go to Romans 12 too. Because God wants you to seek him. Because you belong to God. You are God's child. 
God has his assignment for your purpose on this earth, for his kingdom, not for this devil system, but for God's kingdom to build, to tell other people that Jesus Christ is Lord and he loves them and he wants them in their kingdom. And no matter what they do or what they say, only one way you can see the kingdom of God is through Christ Jesus and your confession from your heart. No other system will work. Only God's system works. God's system is complete. Let's go to Romans 12. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. you got to make your mind renew because they still have some stuff that try to connect to us from the system of this world because the enemy had us first. And when he lost us and we were transformed to God's system and he cut and God cut that umbilical cord from his system and bring us to the system of God. It has some things in our minds. We have to transform it through the word, through press, through supplicate. And it says, and be ye conformed to this. Be ye not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. God wants us to be acceptable to him. But to have a communication with God, you got to seek him like never before. You got to pray like never before. You got to be in supplication like never before. You got to read this word like never before. You got to push yourself. I don't care what this flesh said, but push yourself. Because you can't trust this flesh. You can't trust anything this flesh wants to do. Yeah, your prayer has to be acceptable to God. And you have to, ex you have to be acceptable to God you have to be obedient to God and how God wants you to do things. Not your will, but God, thy will be done. The Spirit, he assists us in the meeting of connection and asking God what he wants us to do. It meets us. Huh? With, you know, the, the assistant of connection, meeting and connecting with God. And asking God, God, what you want me to do? The secret of all success for God to move his prayer. The prayer and the word. You can't do nothing without prayer and the word. Prayer and the word is the only way you can touch God. There is so much, is, there is so much in this world to pray about. It's always something to pray about. It's always something to go in supplication. And you cannot be, you cannot be selfish. You, you, you cannot say, well, God, I'm praying only for my family. Oh, God, I'm praying only for my kids. No. Let me tell you the best prayer is when you pray for others. When you pray for others, God fixes everything in your life. When you put people against the throne room of God, God always fixes. You got to be kind to people. You got to pray because God, that's God's kingdom. God's kingdom is loving and caring. So we have to, we can do the system of this world is selfish. The system is going to think about their self and what their needs are. And is always want to be seen. But in God's kingdom is love, compassion, caring, kindness. Showing affection. This is God's kingdom. Ah, yes, God. And you cannot compromise with the world. Because that's what people are doing now. They're compromising with the world system. You cannot compromise with this system. If you compromise with the world system, you are bringing disaster. Anything that's not of God is disaster. Anything that God didn't tell you to do and you do is disaster. Only what you do for Christ will last. Only how you see God in the word will last. Anything that you're doing, disobedience and compromising is disaster. And that's what the devil wants us to be, disastrous. Are you still connected to, are you still connected to this world system? Because if we are still connected in mind and body and some things we do to this world system, all you got to say, God, I need help. Disconnect me completely because I want more of you. I want more of your will. For my life, I want to do obedience and be the purpose, do purpose for God. No other purpose stands but God. As I said, only what you do for Christ is going to last. Religion is a system that, religion is a system that we have rules and regulations without God. So religion will make you have rules and regulations without God. Anything without God is the devil. That man without God is the devil. That job without God is the devil. You making decision about your house, your car, your husband, your kids without God is disastrous. 
That's why you cannot compromise. You have to seek God for everything that you do. And that's why we have to make God break and break and be transforming our mind to the renewing of God's mind, renewing of what God wants us to think like him, think like the kingdom, act like the kingdom, walk like the kingdom, everything. And we have to do this. We have to pray. We have to seek God and we have to ask God to do what he wants to do in our life. Let his will be done, not our will. Ah, this system is deadly towards God. This system, don't want God's system in it. This system is deadly. The enemy don't want nothing of God. So that's why we got to push towards God. He died for us on Calvary. He gave up his life for us. We have to submit to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. We have to live it and be obedient to God. We have to submit, not just submit, live it and be obedient to God. Okay. You mightn't be a person who's fornicating. That's all when people say you're doing something wrong. All they think about fornication. Or you might not be a liar. But you listen to certain music. You dress a certain way. You still have hate in your heart for somebody who did you wrong because the enemy used them to do you wrong. You might not like that boss or you might say something in your mind against somebody. The system is still connected, so we have to detach ourselves from the system. You can believe in God and don't live for God. You can believe in God and don't live for God. It might not be one of those areas I call, but it's some area you got to disconnect from this system of God. So in this season, to build God's house, you got to pray. And you got to ask God to give you the desire to stir you up, to give you the guidance God, this is what you want me to do in this season. And this is what you wanted me to do. I'm here, God. I give it all to you. I want you, Lord Jesus. I want your will and your purpose for my life, God. I am tired of doing it my way, but I want your way. Without you, I'm nothing. Without you, I don't exist. And just be encouraged to know that God loves you. If you are God's child and in the kingdom of God, God loves you to give us rules and regulation. That's love. I just want you all to be blessed. And if anyone don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, all I want to say to say, all you got to say is, Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you died and you rode from the third day. I acknowledge my sins and my transgressions. Come into my life, Jesus. Wash me, cleanse me. And that's all you got to do. You believe in your, believe or confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. And it's so easy. This is God's kingdom. That's how easy it is to enter into God's kingdom. And that the Bible is the directions after. Be blessed and have a blessed Wednesday. And have a safe one. Love you guys.